Joining us in the studio this morning in the flesh. Never met you really live. Here. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. What am I, I doing? I see you on TV all the what time. What am I doing I feel here? Like we're meeting a celebrity <laughs> right? today. 6:30 right? in the morning. It's oh usually my. out and about for folks who aren't used yeah. to this. Right. It's my pleasure to be here. We roped you in here though because you have an incredible Wish TV exclusive about I one do. of the tallest women in the world. Sandy Allen, who's from Indiana. I didn't know about this. She is. Well, she wasn't born in, Sh in Indiana, I don't think, but she lived in Shelbyville. Okay. <clears throat> she was seven feet when she passed, I think, about 12 years ago. She was seven, seven. But they say she was still growing. Wow. But the, <clears throat> excuse me. The thing about her that was so amazing is she was the sweetest, loveliest person in the world. <laughs> and just to give some perspective for those few who don't know, okay. I'll show you a picture of us together. Oh, wow. um, oh my yeah, goodness. She was a few inches taller than me. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. But it's because yeah. she's standing on a box, right? <laughs> no, I, yeah. wow. I'm in a hole. Thank goodness, Dick Wolf, see you. You, yeah. you look young in that photo, too. Look at uh, you think so? <laughs> you look great. You think so? You both look great. But she was a special person. She went through a lot of things in her life that were tough. Mm -hmm. But she was just the, the kindest, sweetest person, always reaching out to people, other people who had some disadvantage. Yeah. So you had a chance to meet her. Do you know when that picture was taken? Yeah, that picture was probably taken about 12, 13 years ago. Okay. Um, so shortly before her death then. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. And um, like I said, she was such a kind person, but she went through, I mean, she was teased in high school. You sure. can imagine oh, sure. what it's like to be like that. But here's the, I always say, think about this. As difficult a time as she was, she was really probably only... 18 inches taller than most most tall people when you think about sure. it. Sure. And that changed everything. So, wow. but here's what the story's about. So she had a manager named John Kleiman. Okay. John was, uh, qu he was quite a guy. He was a good friend of mine. And uh, when, uh, um, when she passed, the decision was what to do with all of her memorabilia, her clothing. Okay. Uh, the stuff that she had when she traveled the world. Well, I was going to say, I'm sure she had, her, her height was connected to whatever she did professionally. Exactly, which was good news and bad news. Because it was good news because it got her to travel, to meet people, mm -hmm. but it also made her a spectacle in some ways. Mm. So that was the tough part. Sure. So John Kleiman is giving all of her memorabilia to Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Really and making history. Nobody <laughs> has that story but me. I've only been able to say that three times in 30 years. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully. But yeah. That's so, interesting. Yeah. After all this time. Yeah. Very good. How did you, how did you get hooked up with her? Well, uh, the great story about this is that she was in love with Barney. No oh, kidding. She was Barney in love. Oh, yeah. she just loved him. And before I ever met her, she had called and said, I think she said to John, I don't remember. She said, uh, is there any way I can meet Barney? Not Dick. Not Dick. Not Dick. Well, the dog Barney. Barney. Right. And uh, <laughs> I, I took her one day to see her, and uh, she just fell in love with him. And when she passed, I'll never forget, Channel 8 had a picture of her. And she was in front of her desk. And behind her on the billboard were pictures of Barney. Oh, isn't that's that, wonderful. Isn't that cool? That way to it. reach her heart. So here's what we're doing. Can I, I haven't, yes, stopped, yes, please, stop. I haven't stopped talking, have that's, I? No, you're fine. We like <clears> it that way. You talk enough. You talk that's for four true. hours. <laughs> that's true. Um, she had lots of memorabilia, like clothing and things like yes. that, and pictures. So what we're going to do is today, it's largely a conversation with John. Okay. With some pictures, and then the next three segments, and then tomorrow, and I'm going to be back. Can we tape this so I don't have to come back? <laughs> Six thirty in the morning, too early. Yeah. For we ask that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, the weather always repeats That's itself. True. That's right. That's, That's right. True. <laughs> so, and then tomorrow we'll actually show the memorabilia. Okay. Like, oh, her, like her shoes were given to her by Rick Smiths of the Pacers. I wonder, no I was just saying, what yeah. size shoe Isn't would that Isn't that the be? wildest that thing? Is. Yeah. So anyway, now I'll shut up. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, we're looking. You've got us hooked then. So yeah. in another hour, we'll get to meet her manager. Next three th out, the next, for the next three hours, okay. you'll see three segments. Then tomorrow, we go back and we take a look at all the memorabilia. Good stuff. It was okay. Be at Ripley's. Fantastic. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for coming. Cool. Okay. Real life. Yeah. Lucky yeah. us. Like <laughs> I said, I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity. I know. I love it. <laughs>